When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you were you referred to by an active prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. I'm gonna put up here on the screen this next load that I'm gonna accept real quick. It's a good paying load, but I won't be able to pick it up until Monday and, excuse me, and it delivers on Tuesday. So it should be right there up on your screen. Let's go into the load. This is picking up in Louisville, Kentucky. It's delivered to Aurora, Nebraska. Total revenue is 2,375 and 83 cents. So this is a good paying load. Unfortunately, I can't basically move all weekend. So it picks up on Monday, but it's no big deal. That'll give me time to do some video editing and get some laundry done and clean the inside of my truck out because my truck on the inside definitely needs to be clean because uh, it's been raining all day. So if you look over on the screen, I'm gonna be picking up at the color house. And if we go scroll all the way down, underneath that, it says caramel coloring. So I'm gonna be picking up caramel color. And they use this to basically dye, they use this stuff to basically dye the kibbles and the grains and the corns they grind up for dog pebbles to give it color, from my understanding. Don't quote me on that either. So yeah, this and then it's delivered to Aurora, Nebraska at I am. So I've been to the color house. Last time I went there, I waited eight hours because their pump stopped working. We'll say it's a challenge uh, getting into this place, the color house, because you have to actually pass it. And then you have to make all these turns to basically turn yourself around because you can only come in there one way. So I'm going to try to get that shot in this next video or in this video for you. They're going to have another one. Well, she's got to get her shit together. I'm going to be in my driveway at 54 miles. Be a mile driveway, 950 miles. Holy snackers, damn. Oh man. Yep, that thing got in the ditch. Good morning, y'all. I'm down here in Effingham, Effingham, Illinois. Gotta brush them teeth. I'm gonna go inside and grab me a coffee. I'm gonna see how many rewards points I got here at this pilot, so. Let's take a look here. So I got 2,302 points, which means I got $23.02 uh, to use for you know purchasing stuff at this uh, Flying J that I'm at here. Uh, and then I'm gonna be cleaning the inside of my truck out. Going to Walmart tomorrow. There's a uh, truck parking at this Walmart here in Effingham, Illinois. I'm definitely gonna be cleaning out my damn truck. But first I need a coffee, breakfast sandwich, clean my truck, then I need a shower, then I gotta do laundry, and I need to wash my bedding today. So today's gonna be a busy day for me, even though I'm taking a 34 hour uh, reset so I can get my 70 hour clock back. Also, I can't get loaded until Monday, so, and it's Saturday. So yeah, I drove about an hour in the opposite direction of my, of the next shipper, but I wanted to be close by pretty much everything. So I drove over to Effingham, so it's all good. Man, they didn't even have any lids. It was busy in there, everybody was getting a coffee. And it was funny because you know, I put a couple creepers in here and I always get, I like the darkest coffee they got. Something that has the, something that just will slap me in the face, you know? <laughs> That's good. That's real good. So everyone's getting their coffee, right? And I started looking around and there was like seven other people doing the same thing and we all kind of stopped and looked at it. <laughs> So it doesn't interrupt me again. God, interrupting me, bro. It was funny. We just all looked around and then we all noticed each other looking around. And I was like, yeah, I don't think there are any, there's no lids. But anywho, little waffle style, sausage, egg, and cheese, biscuit, basically. Oh, when I go to Walmart, I got to remember to grab a six pack of paper towels because I'm going to probably end up using the rest of that roll and one of the other ones I got left up here to uh, wipe down my floors. And don't worry, people, I always lice all the top, the, I always lice all the top of this uh, bucket, and I mainly use it for trash. It's just an emergency. Uh, I've been to a few that didn't have any restrooms at all, so that's why I got this bucket as a backup emergency. I've tried a few different cordless vacuums for my semi-truck, and they suck, in my opinion. It was a Black & Decker, it was a cordless one, uh, and it sucked. Not literally, it didn't suck anything up. It, just was trash. This here I got on Black Friday through Walmart $24.99. I believe it, the regular price is like $39.99. It's a, it's an Ion Vac 3-in-1 and it has a cord on it. I have no issues with running up to 1500 watts on my power inverter inside my truck. So this is what I used to clean. Clean up the floors with some simple green. So it's still kind of drying. Clean all this up. I still got to get over here on the driver's side. So what is happening y'all? Feels so good. After you get a nice hot shower, get your laundry done. The only thing I forgot to do was I forgot to take out my damn trash. 
really. So I'm all nice and clean, a little scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. I don't have anything to hang this rug. I washed it. I'm just gonna hang this for now and let this uh, air dry. Uh, okay, that actually can close a little bit. I can't shut it all the way, but I gotta set up my table because I gotta do some video, some video editing. I just feel a lot better. Move all this crap here. Let me show y'all my setup that I have. This is what I have to do every time I start doing video editing. I bought this uh, fold-out table right here from Walmart. I think it was like 25 bucks. So I put my arms down here on my chairs, slide this and move this around just a little bit. And this is my fold-out chair right here that I got. I still have the tag on here. Black Sierra equipment, mesh director's chair with side table. It's starting to fray a little bit. Let's see, I do have a lighter. There we go, let's burn that off. Let's burn all this little stuff off, a little fray. This is where I do, uh, I do all my work. Sit down, this is how I do, uh, this is how I do it. My first, maybe five or 10 videos, I did all my video editing on this iPad. This is what I do to watch the, uh, when I watch TV or stuff, which is rare. But yeah, that's uh, this is what I started with right here. One GoPro Hero 10 and an iPad with iMovie. This is how I did my video editing to start. Now I have a MacBook Pro. All right, good morning. I'm gonna head over to this Walmart and I'm kind of annoyed because my T-Mobile box says it's got a good connection, but I've been trying to overnight I was trying to upload a video and I let it try to upload overnight and it still hasn't uploaded. So I'm slightly, got my trucks all nice and clean now. Cleaned up these floors. Now I'm gonna head over to this Walmart so that way I can stock up my truck. My jacket smells good. Mm, I washed it and hang dried my jacket. Smell nice and fresh. I didn't wash my bedding this weekend, but I'm gonna do that next time I uh, I stop and I have time when I wash the bedding on my in my truck. So my truck is actually clean. I just have my laptop and things up here. So I had my foldout table set up over here because I was trying to let this video upload overnight and it still didn't upload. So I, I have to go to Walmart. I can't sit here and wait another eight hours for this video to try and upload. So we're gonna head over to Walmart. All right, let's chain myself over here to PC. Uh, I'm gonna select shopping for food because that's what I'm gonna go do. My 34 hour reset completed, but I can't leave right now and head to the tank wash because they don't open till Monday. So I'm gonna use this time to go to Walmart and, oh, you know what? Let me just double check. Let me just double check, make sure. All right, cool. Safety latches in. I always try to double check, make sure nobody pulled it to try to pull some dumb stuff. Uh, oh, you know what? Why is my steering wheel? Okay, there we go. Okay. I had to fix my steering wheel. All right, let's get up out of here. I got up at seven o'clock in the morning and I was gonna go, I was gonna go there as soon as I got up and I was like, ah, oh, let me see if this video will start speeding up with getting uploaded. And no, it just wanted to take its sweet time I love my T-Mobile internet box uh, when it's on, uh, you know, working great, it works really, really good. And then just sometimes it'll randomly just be slow. That guy's getting his workout. Get your workout in, bro. Us truckers are always busy working all the time. It's hard for us to be able to get a consistent workout in and get it while you can, when you can. Now this Walmart in Effingham, uh, they have they have truck parking, and there's uh, all kinds of shopping uh, all kinds of shopping centers around this Walmart. I think I'll go in the same place that I went in the last time. All right, we like the green light, yo. All right, now I'm just hoping that there's truck parking, that there's a couple spots left. I knew I should have got here earlier. Alright. Yeah, this is the same way that I've come in here the last three times I've been here. Oh man, is it, it looks like all this truck parking over here is all taken. Alright, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see, are we going to be able to we're gonna be able to get a spot here, y'all. Let's find out. Truck parking in the back. After 700 feet, turn left onto Ford Avenue and then you will reach your destination. Oh, I already re reached my destination. After 1,000 
feet, turn right onto North Keller Drive. Oh, please let there be some parking over here on this side. Please let there be some parking. Oh, righty, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We like us some truck parking over here, y'all. I could have parked in that front spot, but I'm going to take this spot right over here. I'm going to take this spot right over here at the end. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. All right, I just got to straighten up my truck now, my trailer. Okay, there we go, right there, perfect. Oh shoot, make sure I hit the brake, Rex. pull it up just a little bit all right there we go all right now i can do some shopping i'm gonna i'm gonna reset well the box i unplugged it my internet box i'm gonna plug it back in and try to see if my video will continue to upload but i'm not gonna lie i was slightly annoyed with it but i'm a happy-go-lucky type of guy you know and i try not to let things get to me i'll be honest in my 20s i had an attitude problem and possibly thought mm, i was always right so it took me until once I hit 30, then I started to basically figure figure life out and figure out how to approach situations. I had to look myself in the mirror and I had to make an adjustment because I saw myself, I wasn't going anywhere. And I'm trying to, you know, be somebody and be something for my family. So, and that's why I chose trucking. Yeah, I had to give myself a, uh, a damn reality check. Let me turn off my flashers. So it's hard, it's hard to admit that, you know, it's hard you know it's hard accepting that whenever you're doing something wrong as a person so but uh if you want to move forward in life you got to get you got to get better you got to uh self-reflect and uh i did a lot of that in my late 20s and then once i hit 30 is whenever i started to basically i guess you could say understand life and how to approach situations so now i just i don't let things i don't let things bother me i just you know it is what it is so it says i'm at 89 percent uploading this next video yeah, so what I was trying to do is I was trying to oh, it's not super fast, but it's a lot faster Shh. Jeez, it's a lot faster than it was. That's for sure. Uh, I did not save that did I what well, where is that? Is it the downloads? There we go. All right, so it did save it looks like it's loading a lot faster here Yep, my internet connection is very slow. I got it and what the fuck did I just hit? Oh shoot I didn't even know I could do that with this mouse. I could go back without even clicking the button. What? See I'm still over here learning guys. I didn't know I could just press these side buttons here on this freaking mouse for my MacBook Pro and I go forward and backwards. That's awesome. I didn't ever even I didn't even know that. Okay. All right, well I'm going to try and let this keep on uh, uploading then. All right, y'all. So I just got to do a shopping at Walmart. I put all my stuff inside my truck as I was walking on the side of my trailer. I noticed that both hub seals were leaking on the passenger side. Let's take a look at it. it might be kind of hard to see, but I can see that grease right there spitting out everywhere. Uh, a lot of this looks like it's dried up, so this could be old, but it's starting to leak now. And the other one, the other one here too, might be hard for y'all to see that. See that grease coming out of the so and this is the um the trailer i gotta still replace this mud flap i was gonna replace it because i was gonna be heading back to the same uh flying j that i was at so i can replace that mud flap i'm just looking at these tires here real quick to see if anything needs to be replaced these ones over here look pretty good so oh you know what i gotta go over here and take a picture of this stuff <laughs> so i gotta take a picture of all this and i'm gonna send it over to uh road assist there is a a uh ta way on the other side over here well actually it's not way on the other side uh it's right right around the corner from where i was parked at so i'm probably gonna have to end up going to a ta to get this repaired before i get uh before i get washed out tomorrow so i'm gonna try to take care of this right away because tonight i'm trying to roll so that way i can get to the tank wash because they're closed weekends but i want to be there first thing in the morning to get washed out on monday <laughs> so excuse me i was hitting <laughs> i was hitting my babe 
Oh man. So I just uh, I just sent dispatch, not dispatch. I just sent road assist. I'll put it up here on the screen. So yeah, I sent a message over to uh, road assist, basically letting them know that I'm gonna take this uh, trailer over to a TA in Effingham, number 35. It's just right up the street. And I basically was just letting them know that I was gonna replace this mud flat myself until I noticed those leaking hub seals because whenever I grabbed this trailer the other day, they weren't leaking. Uh, they, I didn't see them leaking like that. I know the rims, they look spotty, but there was no grease leaking. So I always check that, so uh, now it's leaking. So I'm just going to have them do everything, the mud flap and the hub seals. So there's no sense of me doing the mud flap. If they're going to pull it in and, and work on the hub seals, they can just go ahead and swap out the mud flap real quick. So uh, they just gave me confirmation. They just said, hey, uh, get over there. They said, just get over to a T or Petro in Effingham. So all right, bye bye, Walmart. I hate you and I love you. Yeah, the TA is just right up over here, just up around the around the corner. Here, uh, not this, not this first light here, but the next light. I'll bust a right, and we'll be at the TA. Well, I'm glad that I, uh, I'm glad that I caught those hub seals, and I'm glad that I'm currently, you know, I am on a load, but I'm, I can't pick it up until tomorrow, so. This actually all works out for me. Uh, it could be, could be worse, so no big deal. I'm not going to stress about it. We're just going to get over here to this TA and see if they can fix it. If not, there is a Petro a few blocks away from this TA that I'm going to be going to right now. The TA is just a little bit closer, so I'm going to go to this TA. Plus, this TA also got uh, this TA also got better reviews. Here's the TA on the right, and where I've been staying at, and I took my 34-hour reset, is here on the left, Flying J. So it's literally right next door. All right, so I'm gonna go find a spot you to. You've reached your destination. The destination is on your right. We'll go find a, a spot to park my truck, and we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna get checked in. TA truck set. Actually, let's go back here. All righty. Are these all, um, I wonder if these, all these spots right here are uh, reserved. Oh, that guy's gonna back up, back it up over there. Okay, okay then, fine. All right, he's gonna back it over there. He's gonna bag it up over there. Okay, those are reserved. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, we'll just do this. We'll just get our trailer, here we go. Oh, I cut it just a little too hard. Let me get it over just a little bit more. I cut it just a little too hard, man. I cut it just a little too hard. Okay, there we go. That's better. I think I might be just a little crooked, but that's all right. Well, I'm at TA, but we're gonna go over here to this little truck center area, and we're gonna go get checked in. All righty, all righty. I think I got a check-in way over here, right here. Woo! We're inside we go, man. All right, let's go in here and get checked in. All righty, as soon as we can get you in, I'll give you a call. All righty, thank you. All right, y'all, so they already got the hub seals fixed. La, 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 la. Yep, so they already cleaned them up, put new uh, grease in them, and they fixed the mud flap. Looks good. Now I just got to move my truck. 
And then I'm gonna be heading over to the to the tank wash. Yeah, I'm gonna head over to the tank wash tonight so that way the first thing in the morning, they can wash out my tanker and then I can go over to the shipper to get loaded over at the color house.